Welcome back to the Fresh Brew Run Club weekly vlog. It is Monday. I got a new package in the mail, a new pair of shoes. By the time you're seeing this vlog, I will have already put out my initial reaction of this shoe. So if you haven't seen that, check that out. But this is the, the unboxing video. There's the logo. Like I said, I am very excited about this. I did get these on StockX. Shout out StockX. Here they are, the New Balance Fresh Foam X More V4. I think I got that name right, but I'm fired up about these shoes. I will run tomorrow, so I'll see you in the next one. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Today, very excited. I'm trying out a brand new shoe, the New Balance Fresh Foam X More V4. So I'm gonna do a six mile run today. I think, six-ish. Look at that wind. Yikes. Also, chafing update from my last vlog. It was definitely the shirt. I mean, my arms got kind of chafed as well. I just cannot wear that shirt in the rain. It was like a cheese grater. That was ridiculous. So I'm filming my uh, midway report at America's most ignored stop sign. Um, <laughs> always, uh, always wild times at this, at this stop sign. All right, we got a train grain spill update. Plenty of birds, plenty of grain. Look at that. This grain's gonna be here all summer and maybe we'll have a little uh, wheat field here. How fun. The no look roll through. Love that. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up the vlog, check out my review of the shoes that I'm running in right now. They're great. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy fry, yay. Hey, six miles, easy run. It's beautiful outside. Just look at that. So nice to run. Kind of makes me like wish I would have waited to do my first run in the, uh, the New Balance More V4s, but I don't know, oh well. So training update, I really need to focus on running my easy runs like today, easy. I've gotten kind of lazy, which is funny to say that I'm being lazy because I'm running my easy runs faster than I should, but it takes a lot of focus to watch the heart rate, to make sure I'm slowing down. I just, I have this urge to run faster than I should, but I really need to focus on slowing down and get in good, like, zone two shape get my body used to being in zone two before i start my marathon training at the end of june i have some time but i think now that we're in may i need to focus on that a little bit more so if anyone has any tips for slowing down although i think the answer is just <laughs> slow down <laughs> let me know here we go look at this So I've been waiting all winter to show this. There's a spot where I run that is just like, there's a ton of snails. Look at this. Oh, one's crushed, that's sad. But look at these snails, kind of cool. See, another reminder for me to run slow. A snail's pace. Look at this sign, wet paint. Like a Three Stooges sketch. <laughs> you don't see wet paint signs outside of like 1940s slapstick comedy videos. <laughs> Running safety tip, drivers never look in the direction they're turning. They're only looking for traffic coming from the, the opposite way. So if someone is turning left, they're not gonna look left. If someone's turning right, they're not gonna look right. I mean, I just assume that no one is paying any attention and it will keep me alive for longer, but something to keep in mind when you come to an intersection. Once again, Major shout out to the Grant Park Porta Potty, a lifesaver for times like these. I just accidentally stopped my run, which means that this run is going to be two runs, which annoys me. It's a stupid thing I shouldn't care about, but uh, 
I hate when I do that. So part two, run number two of this run begins now. Grain spill update. Some grain, not much. If I wrap it up here, I will say the more V4s are awesome on the second run. Actually much better than the first run. I think I'm gonna really like these. I think I found my, my daily trainer. I'm excited to keep running in these, so stay tuned for more videos about them. Good morning. Happy Saturday, beautiful day. We got a sunrise session going. I'm up early, I'm excited. Long run today, 16 miles. I don't know if you can hear my backpack, my camelback sloshing in the background. So yeah, really today just wanna go out and try to go pretty slow. Like keep the heart rate down, really practice running long and slow and see how it goes. But running a new route that I've never run before, I literally have it mapped on a piece of paper so I don't get lost, but yeah, feeling good. Let's do this. It's kind of fun to explore every once in a while, even though I'm only a few miles from my house, there's just a thrill in not knowing where the nearest porta potty is. Hello ducks. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. So this is Woodward, so I have to figure out how to cross. It looks like I have to cross the street here. Oh, man. Yikes. Look at that. I was just gonna say, you gotta be careful on Woodward, no matter what is going on, even if you have the crosswalk, because it can be dangerous, and what do you know? Man, that's bad. It looked like the guy was okay though, so. It's like 6.30 in the morning. Okay, so this is very exciting for me. This is called Vincetta Boulevard, this, this street right here. And that median right there used to be a small river. So a little further up, there's some bridges that actually used to cross the river. They're still there. There's no river. They put it in like pipes under the soil, which, well, I gotta be careful here, but it's kind of cool. The, the footprint of the river still exists. I don't know why, but I'm fascinated by that kind of stuff, kind of like a, a ghost river, a lost river. Oh, here's one of the bridges. Let's check this out. This used to be a bridge over the actual river. Pretty cool, these are really old. I'll have to look up how old they are, but right now there's a petition with Royal Oak to get them designated as historical landmarks to kind of protect them for the future and sort of note their, their significance, so pretty cool. So you can imagine a, a river or a stream running underneath this bridge and it goes on for a while. I'm gonna follow it for, for a while, but it's called Red Run Drain. There's like the Red Run Golf Course and it eventually connects up with the Clinton River. So I thought about trying to like run the path, but most of it's on private land. So I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but could be a possible idea in the future. I would like to make a video about sort of the history of these bridges and this river. So saving that for later, but I don't know, as a history nerd, this stuff is cool to me. Part of this construction is curb bump outs, which we love to see at the Fresh Brew Run Club. Just a nice setting. There are some nice houses on this road. My goodness. All right, this is Main Street and where I depart from the river. You can see maybe the park down there. That's where it where it used to run, but I'm going north on Main to Clawson, to Clawson! Woodpile barbecue, whoo, it smells good. Check them out, Main Street, just south of 14 Mile in Clawson. Mm. So I've never run in Clawson before, but they have a nice little downtown. Renshaw's Lounge, that's where my wife and I had our first date and I spilled three glasses of water on the ground and she didn't leave, so. <laughs> All right, I'm on Rochester Road. I think this is gonna be the least fun stretch to run just because traffic is busy. It's kind of ugly to look at, <laughs> but we'll chug through. Green Lantern, awesome pizza, my favorite pizza. Love Green Lantern. Hanson's Running Shop. If you're in Metro Detroit, you know Hanson's. They're like the premier 
running store around here. Shout out Hanson's. Kevin Hanson, great follow on Twitter. If you want some running insights, but there it is. Okay, this is awesome. <laughs> Road work ahead? Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. Road work ahead? Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. <laughs> that is my all time favorite vine. Also just crossed eight miles, halfway. Feeling great. Feel really, really good. Beautiful day to run. Where am I supposed to go here? Hey, a little off road. Ooh, it's kind of wet. Well, the shoes won't be clean after this. That's okay though. They're for running, they're not for looks. So here's something I always do. Let me know if you do this too, where I have a gel and I'll eat it and I'll put it in my pocket and then forget about it and then wash my shorts and then all my clothes will have just a little bit of chocolate outrage on them. So I'm gonna hold on to this until I see a garbage can because I don't wanna do that again. Gel probs. Back on Main Street, I just dropped my camera on the ground. Still survived. Shout out to GoPro Hero 9. A durable, durable camera. All right, so now I'm trying to get south of 696 and west of Woodward, which means I have to cross some of the most pedestrian, unfriendly intersections, I would say, in all of Michigan. All right, one down. Next one to go. Oh, green, I got the red, I got the green. All right. Now we cross the next part of Woodward. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, I gotta sprint. Okay, made it. All right, now we're crossing 696. Gotta make this one. Okay, we got it. All right. We made it. Imagine crossing all that if you're not running. Citywide garage sale, official merchant. Now, if that isn't a literal sign of bureaucratic red tape. You need to be an official merchant to have a garage sale. Ha! All right, I'm in Oak Park now. Kind of an interesting little area on Nine Mile. They have these cool little like pocket parks. So this one is on Sherman. And then up here, there's like a linear park. So it's a long Nine Mile. It's probably like half a mile, three fourths of a mile long of just a park along the road. I want to run here a little more one day. Maybe I'll make a separate video about it, but kind of cool what they're trying to do on Nine Mile and Oak Park. The park's on the other side over there, or at least the start of it. I'll come back here one day and show it off. It's kind of cool. It's actually really cool. Great run today. Feel really good. Nice little confidence boost that I can run for longer. I feel like I could run for a lot longer, which is something I'm going to need to do soon. So I'll see you in the next one. 16 miles.